All right, let's take a look at the new light table. So what I think I'll show here is some of the new JavaScript features. Uh, in order to do JavaScript, though, you kind of want a browser. So here's a browser tab, and I'll create a new tab set and drag it over there so that we can have our code on the other side. And what I thought would be fun to kind of take a look at is uh, I downloaded one of the demos from the 3JS website, so the spinning cube that we have here. And I thought we could live modify that and see how this workflow kind of plays out. Okay, now we have our cube and we have our code. One of the improvements we made uh, in this version is the ability to eval your selection. And so what we're going to do is we're going to eval this mesh variable here. Uh, and what you can see is we're actually able to inspect the value that we get back. So this is one of the big improvements we made. And this is something I think is really, really cool. Right? I can eval something. If it's an object, uh, I can actually open it up and take a look at what's inside of it. And so like here I'm doing it with the scene and I have the ability to, you know, take a look at all of its children and so on. All right, but let's actually modify the cube. So we have this render function and we can go in here and start changing the speed at which it rotates. Uh, and note that as I'm doing this, as I'm evaling, it's not refreshing, right? The, the frame counter is staying the same. This is injecting code into the virtual machine and patching up all the functions and stuff. And the way we manage to do this is by integrating with the Chrome DevTools, which allows us to do all sorts of cool things, like integrate the console directly inside of Lighttable. And so if I do console.log here, uh, and again, we'll, we'll do the mesh thing, right? I'm given an object that I can actually go in and inspect just like I got in line. Everyone we've shown these sort of inspectors to so far has absolutely just fallen in love with them. Uh, and just to sort of prove that this, this console.log thing actually works outside of you know, normal eval, we'll put you know, one in the render loop, and so you'll see it. It'll spew out tons of, uh, tons of prints here. Okay, enough of that. Um, so I mentioned before that what we did was we integrated with the Chrome DevTools. And that means that we're not just simply, you know, calling eval uh, inside of this frame here. We are actually patching the running virtual machine, the, the running instance of V8, essentially. And that means that as we, you know, modify functions, as we write new functions, whatever the case may be, we're actually going in and replacing the references as well. And so that essentially allows us to eval things in a way that would be quite literally impossible to do with, you know, window.eval. To show what that actually allows for, I'm writing this little ramp function that will take the, the static rotation speed that we have here and turn it into something dynamic. Um, it'll speed it way up and then reverse directions and speed it down. Um, and so we've written this function and we eval it, you get the little check mark saying, yep, you got it. Uh, and we're going to go in and modify this render function, which is a function that has been captured already. Um, but because we're using those Chrome dev tools, we are able to patch those references and actually modify the cube. And so you can see it's speeding up and slowing down now. Um, and just like I could before, right, I can go in here and eval the selection and inspect sort of what happens with the rotation. Um, and just for kicks and giggles, because I think it looks cool, we'll actually modify the y-axis to do the same ramping, although we'll do the speed a little bit different. Uh, and there you go. Now we have this cube that kind of dances around. And I can sit here and continue modifying it. I can keep changing the speeds. I can even go back and change the ramp function, right? I could change the way all of this works with this level of eval the inspectables in the embedded browser, we're starting to explore what Lighttable can really do and how it will ultimately shape the way we develop.